So what is going on guys, NanoPace93 here with another video, and if you guys haven't seen my most recent video, it, it kind of dives into how well the Microsoft Office Suite works with the iPad Pro, and we play around with all those different applications just to see if they do work on the iPad Pro, because a lot of people's main hiccup for going full iPad Pro is the fact that they don't think the Microsoft Suite works fully for the iPad Pro, so definitely check that video out, but that's what sparked this video. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare Microsoft Excel and its capabilities versus Numbers, which is Apple's version of Excel uh, for the iPad Pro because Excel is still lacking the iPadOS 13.4 functionality of the cursor support and Numbers takes full advantage of that cursor support. So I want to show you guys the differences of everything that's going on between those because at the end of the day, they're very similar products. They do a lot of the same things. It's just a matter of do you like Excel? Do you like Numbers? Do you like an iPad? Do you like a regular laptop? So let's dive right into it, play with both of them and see the differences between the both of them and also see which one's better if you're an iPad Pro only user. So let's dive right into it guys. guys so I want to start with this top-down view just to give you guys an idea of what everything looks like and like I said if you haven't watched the last video I'm not gonna go fully through Microsoft Excel and everything that it can and cannot do on the iPad Pro but I will give a little bit of a, of a refresher for everybody who hasn't seen that video yet so Microsoft Excel to a certain extent it does everything that you would want it to do for instance if we do just something simple a simple equation a simple formula right equals the sum of you know, this, drag it all the way down to here. And things like that work, right? You still have all your different features of customization, like putting down borders. So you can see if you're doing something, if you're adding up a, a column or not. So the functionality of Excel is there to a certain extent, and it does all the basics extremely well, especially because the iPad is so powerful. And this is just basically a number processor for for the iPad itself. So Excel works to a certain extent and it works well. Like I said, the basics work very, very strongly on the iPad Pro, but some of the things that it lacks, right? So as you can see, cursor support isn't really there. And what I mean by that is, obviously it works a point and click, like I'm clicking here, everything's fine. It's recognizing the cells that I'm going to, but you'll see when I go over to pages, how it works differently. Cause at right now, if you go over an application or something, you can see that the UI kind of changes as it has been changing before. So if you go into the top, if you go into the corner, if you keep swiping up, then things happen, right? But when it goes to using Microsoft Excel, there is no UI change like changes, right? You can see that it's just a point and click and that's it. Same thing when you want to highlight multiple cells, you have to highlight it by dragging it. You can't go here, then hold shift down and press here. I'm holding shift down and that just happens. So usually if you hold shift down, it'll highlight everything in that area. Those are some of the limitations limitations of Excel. And then also one of the biggest ones is the fact that you cannot multitask with just Excel. So if you guys can see, I'm trying to put it anywhere and it just won't let me. So that's a big no-no for people that use Excel. And that's why a lot of people have restrained themselves from going full iPad Pro because of the fact that Excel just isn't optimized yet in any way for the iPad Pro, or at least the iPad Pro's UI. But from an Excel functionality, you can see that all the options are there. You still have, pen input with your Apple Pencil, as you can see, so you can annotate live. You have the different formulas, you can review, so if you if you can share this file and then add comments and things like that, show your data, you can add filters to it. So that's Excel in a nutshell, guys. And I wanna show you what Pages looks like. So Pages, I haven't used Pages in a, in a while. I used to use it all the time back in the day, especially when I think it was called iWorks. Uh, I think it was like a $30 set they used to buy at the Apple store, but for instance, this is Pages, right? And Pages is another Excel type of application. You have all your different templates here from education to personal finance and things like that. But just to go, I wanna show you guys a basic workbook and show you guys how it works essentially, right? So as you guys can see, it is optimized for 13.4 iPadOS because I'm not pressing anything. I'm just dragging the mouse over all the cells and you can see that the cells or the mouse is recognized by the cells. So the cells are ready to go and then also so let's do the same, the same project here. So we're just gonna add a column of numbers and here I'm just pressing enter to go to the next one. So that's normal, just like in regular Excel, I'm gonna make this a 10. And then here we're gonna do the same thing. So equals the sum of one. And then if you press shift, it still does not work. But you can press them one by one if you would like to. So that's one way to do it. You just press enter. And there it's all added up. But here, if you want to do it a different way, equals 
there and you just drag it, same functionality, right? So, boom. So that is Pages, again, in a quick little nutshell. One of the big things that works well with it is the fact that you can multitask with it because it technically is a native iOS app. So you can multitask with it. You can have up to, I believe, three, right? If I do this correctly, yes, yeah, so you can have three different three different number files open at the same time to reference them depending on what data input that you're doing. So that's one huge plus when it comes to pages. Another big advantage for me with numbers has to be the actual UI. The UI, again, was built, it looks like it was built more for iPad, right? Because of the fact of how user-friendly and how easy it is to use. So up here on the top right, you have your different options. And within those options, you have more options, right? So this is the formatting one. So you can format each cell individually, format what the unit of measure is in the actual cell. You can arrange things. Go to the table then you go into another cap this is how you add your filters and things like that you can add different charts essentially pie charts 3d graphs whatever the case may be add a little geometry you can insert photos and then you can also now especially with ipad os 13.4 you can now share with people within numbers so if you're collaborating with other people you just send them the link they can do whatever they need to on this sheet and then you'll see it just just as just as if you would be using Excel or even uh, Google Drive, which has that same collaboration feature, which is very nice. And then this is the other beauty of it, guys. So you can export these as Excel and CSV files. So when you're done, if you do need to go back to a Windows computer or maybe back on a Mac OS computer that has full fledged Excel, you can export everything you did on the go, export it as an Excel or a CSV file and then just Keep working on it on that Windows computer or that work computer, whatever, whatever you guys use to get your excelling done, right? But that's pretty much it when it comes to pages, guys. So it's very user friendly, very easy. The fact that it's a native Apple application means that it's ready to go for 13.4, as you can see. So one thing that I do want to show is if, how Shift does work. I know, so I'm right now I'm holding down Shift, and if I press down here, then yes, it does highlight everything. So that's nice. You can highlight it as if you're doing one of these guys. So you're holding down a button and moving and highlighting the whole thing. At the end of the day, you'll know exactly how much functionality you need out of an application like this. So highly recommend trying this one out. And the fact that Pages and the fact that Numbers is an absolutely free application is also really, really nice, guys. So that's my two cents when it comes to Excel versus Numbers. I think Numbers is made a little bit better for the iPad Pro. Excel isn't too far behind, but the fact that Numbers is free, it works well with Excel and it's just natively built for the iPad Pro, it's a win for me, guys. So that's gonna do it for this top-down view. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of a better idea of what the capabilities are, but let's hop off and go to the normal view, guys. So hopefully that helps shed some light for you guys to show you how Cursor Support should work with Excel once it does get updated because Numbers already does that. And you guys can see it's a little more intuitive. It works the way it's supposed to work, how Apple intended it to work, and that's because Obviously, Numbers is a native Apple application. It's 100% free, and it does play well with Excel to a certain extent because you can't export things as a CSV, as an Excel, as an Excel file, like I mentioned to you, to you guys earlier. So, so hopefully, this helps you guys make a decision on whether or not to go full iPad Pro and whether or not Numbers is a good alternative to Excel for you guys. Because I know that I use a lot of Numbers, export it as an Excel file, then use it on a Windows machine, and it works that way. It works beautifully that way as well. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.